You guys have been asking for it, so I made new dragons and added them into my mod pack. In this video, I'm going to show you guys what they can do, how you can defeat them, what they drop, along with a sneak peek of some other features that I've been working on at the end of the video, so stick around. Before I made the dragons, I had to make sure that I could properly animate and code in flying creatures, so I started out with a simple griffin. Alright, I think it looks good. After finishing this majestic creature, I was quite confident that I could actually work on the dragon, which turned out to be incredibly difficult to add in properly. It's one of the most difficult creatures for me to model and texture, and it's so big and strangely modeled that I had to use multiple hitbox to cover the entire area. I also decided to make it tilt slightly when it's turning around because I thought it looked good. It wasn't really worth the amount of work that I had to do, but anyway, it's done now. So I made two variants, Ice and Fire. You can sometimes find them roaming above cold or hot biomes respectively. Hopefully they won't appear next to your village, or the results could be disastrous. The only way to take them down is to hit them multiple times while it's airborne. From this point on, the hunt begins. If you're wondering why I decided to make the dragons like this, it's because I need to make the dragons attack fit with the epic fight mod. But I also really wanted the dragons to fly around the sky freely like normal players would imagine. So this is the best version that I can come up with. The two variants of dragons have slightly different movesets, which I will show you now. I think it's also worth mentioning that hitting his head will make stunning it easier. Upon death, they drop a dragon heart, which can be eaten for powerful buffs, traded for a good profit, or smelted for an ingredient to make these new types of armor. I haven't decided the buffs or abilities that these two sets of armor should have, so if you would like to, please leave a comment and I'll pick the one that I like. So. What about the other features that I've been working on? Well, I made some custom weapons with unique animations, along with these new creatures called Imps. These are yet again creatures inspired by something that I've come to hate in Elden Ring. You can find these creatures in regular dungeons, but instead of wandering around, they like to hide.
so yeah that's it i'll be releasing this update on our patreon in the next few days we are actually coming quite close to the official update so stay tuned and as always thanks to our patreon supporters and especially the people on screen for making this possible